Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna create the boot for the Tiger robot. So this looks like it's just, you know, drawing some circles, adding some dimensions, and then creating an extrude. Um, it doesn't look too difficult, but you know what? I found that when I say that, they usually end up kicking my kicking my booty. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, work through this. So what I want to do is I'm gonna go up to new. I also noticed that this one uses a metric template when all the other parts use English template. So I was like, hmm, I'm not sure why that would be. But anyway, we're going to do what the book says. So I'm going to go up to my metric folder here, click on standard millimeters, IPT. We're going to go to create. We're going to wait a little bit. So then we're going to wait a little bit more. I'm going to go to start 2D sketch. I'm going to click this X, Y plane, and then I'm going to go up to the circle. I'm going to click the circle center point option. So here I'm just going to make two circles, but I want to constrain them to our center point here with the green dots. I'm going to click once and make a circle. I'm going to make another circle like so. We're going to make a donut pretty much on this one. So then I want to dimension. I'm going to dimension the inside circle. This has a diameter of 5.5. And then the outer one, that's going to have a diameter of 15, like so. And then I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to click on the extrude. I'm going to select my donut. So this donut, we're going to extrude this by distance of six millimeters. So here for distance A, I'm just going to type in six. I'm going to click OK. So there, it's kind of like an old-timey caveman wheel, except it's round. I guess caveman didn't have round wheels. They, they, they rolled on square wheels. I don't know. All right, so then what I want to do is I'm going to start another 2D sketch. I'm going to click on this image up here this above the start 2d sketch I'm gonna click this one i'm gonna select this front face i'm gonna create two little small circles one on each side so i'm gonna go up the circle center point what i want to do is i'm just gonna make a circle way up here i know you're like what in the world are you doing bro and then i'm going to dimension the diameter of one of these circles so let's say this one and that circle is going to be 1.25. Hit the check mark. And then I'm going to go up to my equal constraint. I'm going to click on this equal constraint. I'm going to click this circle. I'm going to click this circle. Now those are both the same diameter. And then what I want to do is I am going to dimension from the center to the center, drag this down, that's going to be 6. I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. So dimension from the center to the center, come down, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one here, make that the same. So those are both the same. Now to get this thing lined up, and why I moved them way up there is it makes it easier to me. For me, anyway. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to go to click on the horizontal constraints. And then I'm going to click on the center, the center dot. I'm going to click on this center dot. And that's going to drop that down. I'm going to click on the center dot again. And I'm going to click on this center dot. And it pulls that down. So now those are all horizontally constrained and lined with each other. And you can see down here, we are fully constrained. I'm going to finish my sketch. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to go to extrude. And I'm going to make sure my, where it says Boolean, make sure that's cut. And I'm going to have a distance of two millimeters. 
So I'm just going to type in two. I know it's already there, but I'm going to click in two. And I'm going to zoom in on click so I can get access easier to these two little small tiny circles. So I'm going to click that one. Click that one. And for some reason, it, it flipped it around and joined it, but I don't want to join it. I want to hit the cut option. We're at two millimeters. I'm going to click on OK. All right, there we go. So we don't want those to go all the way through. Just we want them to be cut in, into the material or into the part by two millimeters. So there we have it. So then what we can do is we can add a material on here so we can all kind of check and see if we all got this the same numbers on here. So I'm going to go to, instead of generic, I'm going to choose, what did I choose last time? Du, 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 du. Oh, yeah, PC ABS plastic. We can do that one. And then for where you see part one, I'm going to right click on it, go to eye properties. I'm going to click on the physical tab. I'm going to click on the update button. And so the mass of this boot is 0 0.001 kilograms, 0 0.001. Yeah. And then the area is 708.036 millimeters squared. And the volume is, yeah, you see that. So um, hopefully we all got the same numbers here. I'm going to click on close. What I want to do here is make sure that you save this. We're going to save it as boot. And I like using all capital letters. It helps me see it better. Um, so I'm going to click on type in boot. I'm going to hit save. It already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yeah, I'll replace it. And so there we go. So that's how you create the boot for the Tiger Robot. Make sure to come back next video and we'll keep on working on more, more parts. All right. Peace out.